What I enjoyed most about being part of this project is learning from the other contributors. It's been wonderful to be part of such a diverse team and has really reaffirmed the worldwide scale of our shared OC experiences as part of this community. I've also really enjoyed personally the peek behind the curtain at the creative process from seeing how the conversations were facilitated to how the results of those conversations was then interpreted into the final resource that you all are seeing and hopefully enjoying. So for me, one of the greatest aspects of this project was to witness how much this project actually meant to everyone involved and the really sincere commitment to create something together that can really make a difference. And in addition, it was also really incredible to see how each member that participated brought unique insights to the table, which then fueled our project with a very rich variety of perspectives. I've mostly enjoyed in this project meeting other advocates um, as well as specialists. It's nice to know that the community is so big. Um, it feels so small when you're on your own um, and just really helps with the recovery and just nice to make friends with people who genuinely, it feels like get you a lot better than most people do. I have been so impressed with the entire team of researchers and gatekeepers and have really appreciated the opportunity to talk with them and provide feedback on the toolkit and the website. I've had the absolute privilege of being a part of a number of the co-productive design meetings. So where the neuroscientists, the people with lived experience, representatives from the charities and, and other parts of the OCD community have come together to think about the best way to present some of the current understanding of how the brain works to parents and young people affected by OCD. It has been a wonderful experience to see those meetings work and grow and develop over time. It has been an absolute privilege, a real golden moment of my career. I have absolutely loved that. I really enjoyed working together with our group. As a researcher, there aren't many opportunities for us to develop a project with the community and having seen the project take shape throughout the year, it does feel like it represents many voices. I think what I enjoyed most about this project was just the creativity of everyone on the team. Um, going to those discussions where we were talking about, you know, what to put where and what colors to make what. It was it was really interesting to like just get so many different different perspectives and hear like so many different ideas thrown out about how to frame the same thing. Um, and then the team at Boyle and Perks just blew me away with um, how how detailed and, and phenomenal their art was. I think what I enjoyed most was really the interactions with um, the many different people involved. So the lived experience representatives. Um, the charities, the public engagement people. So usually, you know, as scientists, you're sitting among scientists talking science. And I think really getting, you know, the lift experience from a firsthand perspective um, changes how you see things. You learn what are the pressing issues um, within the community um, and it allows you to connect much more and, and work much more closely with with. Um, the people that you're usually doing research um, on, so you now do research with and together. And I think that um, I really enjoyed and, and the, the exchange of, of knowledge, of experience um, was really, really important for me. My favorite part of being a part of this project has to be our bi-monthly meetings where stakeholders from every walk of life, every vocation, every part of the experience of having and studying OCD from the scientists and the researchers and the clinicians who work with OCD and further our understanding to the people with lived experience at different ages, different parts of the planet, their families, parents, siblings, as well as people who run the foundations, who support our community, and everybody in between, people who work in science communication, just everybody involved in every aspect of this experience 
experience of advocating for OCD would come together and have these amazing meetings where there would be just open discussion, full humility, understanding, and really co-creating this project together. And it really creates an example of what is possible for all neuroscience and biomedical and mental health research moving forward to really integrate the entire community and how we can do so much better and so much more together rather than apart.